Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to take a look at Ulefon Armor Pad 4 Ultra, thermal version. As you can see in front of me I have three boxes. We have the tablet with its contents, we have a 10 watt desk charging dock and we have a hand strap with a kickstand for the tablet. First let's open the small boxes. This is the 10 watt user guide. This is the charging dock. Here in the back we have input and output. It comes with a Type-C to Type-C charging cable. Let's set it aside for a moment, we will continue with the hand strap. This is the instructions for the hand strap. Yeah. Let's set this to the side also. And let's unbox the tablet. As you can see here from the lower left corner of the box, it says up to 16 gigabytes. So we have 8 gigabytes of RAM and 8 gigabytes of virtual RAM. We have the IP rating here. Here on the lower part of the tablet, we have some specifications. We have the MediaTek Dimensity 6305 g we have NFC, we have a 10.36 inch 2K display, versatile LED light, a big battery of 11,800 milliamperes which supports 33 watts of fast charging. We have thermal imaging camera, we have a 50 megapixel rear camera, 256 gigabytes of storage. The IP rating, yeah. I must mention that the box is heavy. Yeah. After we unbox it, we are presented with a tablet. Here in the front, it has these specifications again. Here in the back, we have a big LED flashlight. And we have a dual camera setup with the main camera 50 megapixels and the thermal camera. This is the flashlight. We have three sets of pins. Let's set the tablet aside for a moment. Let's continue with the unboxing. What is this? I believe... Yeah, I believe this goes like this. We have a user manual. We have accessories, ecosystem brochure. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it has three sets of pins because the tablet can support a lot of accessories. Service center app instructions, thermal imaging, user manual, access guide. We have the SIM ejection tool with four screws. We have a screwdriver. Multifunction instructions. Yeah, a lot of paperwork. Camping light, yeah. 
The wired reverse charging capability enables the tablet to act as a power source and charge. Yeah, as you can see, we can charge other devices from the tablet since it has a big battery. We have the warranty card, charging instructions, and safety prompt card. A lot of paperwork. This is the 33 watt fast charging brick. It has Type C input. This is the charging cable inside of the box. It's Type C to Type C. Now let's take a look at the tablet. This is the tablet. Here on the front we have the selfie camera and the light sensor. Here on the right side of the tablet we have a function button and the light button. I believe this is the speaker, microphone. These two holes are the same even on the left side. They are for the hand strap. But we'll take a look in a second. On the left side we have two holes for the hand strap and two sets of pins. Here in the bottom of the tablet, as you can see, we have the speaker, we have the headphone jack. Oh my God, this tablet has a headphone jack, wait. This tablet has a headphone jack, guys. We have the Type-C charging port. We have the power button and the volume buttons. Here in the back, we already saw the camera, the pins, the LED flashlight, the flashlight of the camera. Yeah. While, let's see, here on the top, we have TF and SIM card. And this means that the phone has support for two SIMs at the same time and an SD card. Pretty impressive. Now let's remove the sticker and turn on the tablet. I have to mention that the tablet has a pre-installed screen protector. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a pre-installed screen protector. Hi there. So let me continue with the setup. And as you guys can see, we are on the menu now. Let's go to settings. Display. This is the maximum brightness level. Lift to wake, colors, boosted, saturated, natural. I'm gonna leave it at natural. We see that it has gloves mode, meaning that this tablet will work even if you have working gloves on. And here we can customize the orange key. I'm gonna use the tablet in landscape mode now. Let's go to system. Sorry about tablet, yeah, Android version. Android 14. Let's check the camping light. gonna start setting it at low
let's go middle and let's go high at this close range it will hurt your eyes yeah warning do not shine camping light on your eyes this means that this light here on the back is pretty strong. It's not recommended to look directly at it. You can go sharp light or SOS. Let's check the button here for the light. Yeah, if we press and hold, we can activate the light. Press and hold to turn it back off. Pretty easy and straightforward. Now let's continue with the dock. Yeah. Now we just simply put it in place. We're gonna see a red light here and a blue light here. So this is the indicator that the tablet is charging. Now let's try the other accessory, the hand strap. Okay, so we have the indicator. This goes on the top, this goes on the bottom. Yeah, we can open the Velcro and play with the sizes, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna fall. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna fall. We also have the kickstand. Yeah, this is the kickstand. I believe that it's meant to use only in this position because yeah yeah it can also stand in vertical or horizontal position I was not sure about the vertical position but it can stand on a vertical position and in order to remove the hand strap we need to grab it from the top simply like this now let's take a look at the thermal camera. It's one of the most important features of this tablet. We will need to open view app. In this mode we can capture a photo or we can record a video. We can also play with the settings here on the top. This one shows the temperature. Yeah. This one shows the temperature here in the center of the screen. Here on the left we have the menu, more settings meaning. Since we're talking about the camera, let's try the tablet camera app. Yeah, it has only one main camera which can record up to 2K from what I get. Yeah, 2K, 30 frames per second. It can do mono, black and white picture beauty 50 megapixels and more here on more we have portrait hdr slow motion night shot pro scan here on photo we can zoom up to four times same on video 4x Even the selfie camera is decent, 
it, it can also zoom up to 4x yeah now before ending the video let's take a look at the other app oh my god the speaker yeah let's test the speaker on youtube totally, totally forgot about that it's pretty loud from the notification sound tablet has stereo speakers since we are on YouTube let me open another video and check the playback resolution the video quality can go up to 1440p Yeah, even the tablet flashlight is pretty bright. We have FM radio, game mode, the usual Google apps, sound recorder, simple mode, toolbag, thermal camera, YouTube, YouTube music, service center. Let's open toolbag. Test compass, sound meter, peak hanging, height measure, magnifier, plump bob, barometer, etc. Underwater camera. This is a rugged tablet and it has basically all of the features that you want from a rugged phone or a rugged tablet. Let's check simple mode. Yeah, after enter it. Okay. This is a simple mode on this tablet. It has the basic apps, phone, messages, photos, camera, contacts, calendar, calculator, YouTube music, settings. We can add here any app that we want. Or we can swipe to the right and go all apps. To exit the simple mode on this tablet, we need to press here settings and we have here exit simple mode. As for performance, this tablet feels pretty smooth considering it has a 60 Hz display. Yeah. Storage 256. Memory expansion, yeah. We have 8 gigabytes of RAM with another 8 gigabytes of virtual RAM. 68% of battery, yeah. Let's check the toggles. We can just put everything here on the top. These are basically all of the toggles. Now this was the video guys. Thank you so much for watching but the video it's not over yet. I will take this tablet outside and we will test it out in the real world.